So now, we're demonstrating what it's like going inside of a hoarding environment. We're simulating the hoard with the pallets. If an occupant is alerted to the fire, they're going to find the path of least resistance, or the goat path, as the hoarding folks call it. So as a firefighter, your prime location to carry out a search inside of heavy contents is inside this pathway. First things first, we got to control this door. Door open, more fire. Door closed, less fire. It's just that simple. When we're searching, we're going to use a triple threat of orientation. Number one, I'm an oriented officer. I've got a doorway right here. I've got my thermal image camera I'm scanning. I've got a doorway, I've got my thermal image camera, but I'm also bringing something with me. I've got my search rope laid outside. Just like in a writ situation, I'm going to be the navigation firefighter, right? If we're a two-man team, my searching firefighter is already gone. We're going to stay in this pathway. This is where the occupant is shielded from the heat. It also, we need to keep in mind that if we're beneath the neutral plane and the stocks are this high, we're not catching the true environmental conditions. That's why scanning with this tick becomes more important. As we advance the search, we want to keep our head high. I'm directing this firefighter. This part is not off limits. It's just going to be harder to search. Can you raise up over top the hoard to search? Absolutely. It all depends on how hot it is. You may need to raise up and scan. What we're looking for is outlines of faces, outlines of fingers. Because remember, if Mama or Papa is laying in there, they're going to be surrounded by crap, literally or figuratively. Something else, when you're scanning in hoarding conditions, as we're making our way through the pathway now, if I'm the navigation firefighter, I'm no longer oriented because I left my door, right? How else can we stay oriented? Well, we can identify things that stick above the hoard, that archway, that ceiling fan, those windows, maybe only the tops of them. So as we're scanning with our tick, we will take notice of our orientation. That ceiling fan, until it melts, will never move. That archway will never move. This stuff can move, can fall, and can disorient us. So if I'm the navigation firefighter, I may not be able to hug this wall like old school, right? So we want to use the triple threat of orientation. Triple threat number one is I've got a search rope with me, right? Just like in a rent scenario. Number two, I'm scanning. Number three, I'm staying oriented to my location by different means. Do we want to rely on a thermal imaging camera for primary means of orientation? No. These things can fail. You could lose it, your batteries could fall out, or heck, it could just melt. These are secondary means of orientation. Ceiling fans don't move, bookcases don't move, and that's how you begin the search inside the hoarding conditions.